All right, I'm about to start a cleaning of black walnuts. You can see in this container we have water and sand. And here are the black walnuts. And I have a pail of water for floating. And the husks are actually going to go into the wheelbarrow. And the nuts that have been cleaned by the sandy water are going to go in this basket right here. So just watch me. This is why I just finished with cleaning the nuts, the final amount of nuts from this tree right along my driveway here. I actually don't own it, but it hangs over my driveway. And I got another 144 nuts out of it, adding to the 410 I did earlier. And now I'm going to do a tree that's in my yard. Actually, I got two of them. I got a, a tree that I only got three nuts out of, and then this one, I've already done 23 nuts from it earlier, and 21 were good, so that was a very high ratio. We're going to see if this is uh, the same. And this is from the tree that only had three nuts, and you see there's worms on it. I should probably take some and see if the fish will eat them. Doing these three nuts first. That one sunk. Look at the size of this nut though, it's just a monster. Most of them in the back there were all really big ones like this when they fell off the tree. And this one doesn't have any worms. This these three actually came from a these three nuts actually came from a tree that I girdled. I, I didn't want it there anymore. And it bridged the girl. So then I got into permaculture and started learning the value of all these trees. They decided to leave it grow. Smaller. These two are monsters. Okay. Now these are from another tree. These are from the tree that had 21 out of 23 that actually sunk. So only two floaters. Okay, I'm going to show you how many floaters there are, which I think is phenomenal, versus the other tree. So we look, stir it around a little bit. So here's one. And that other one I thought was a floater was just being held up. One floater out of all that. One bad one out of 51. What are the odds of that again? Here represents the 410 nuts that I did earlier. They've been drying in this chicken wire cage. And all I gotta do is open her up. See how nice and dry they are. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah. Pretty nice. So all I'm gonna do is pour them into this five gallon bucket and that's how I kept them last year right on the basement floor so that's 410 nuts so 500 probably overfills it shed. I don't want them to be in the sun. I've read that when you dry food in the sun that it loses some of its nutritional value. There. So it's nice and airy in here out of the sun. She'll dry real nice. 